what is happening I'm trying to get an early start on this this morning too early to start working on that uh, i gotta do a little bit of touch-ups on the roof i painted the trim if you haven't seen that video already i'll put a link in it uh but while we're waiting on the condensation a lot to dry i'm gonna be putting the trunk motor in uh, it's kind of gone bad it works when it wants to we're gonna be replacing it so hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't already do a bunch of work on fleetwoods may help you let's get to it so before we replace this, I'm going to kind of show you a last ditch effort, uh, more or less kind of emergency, try and get your trunk closed deal. If your trunk release will come up, but it won't come down, uh, that's how this one kind of started acting up. It, it definitely gave me plenty of time to see what was going on. But what you can do, up here on the latch, uh, when this clicks closed, it pushes this little button. It basically says, hey, I need power. You know, turn the motor on to pull it down. So you got to hold that up, and that will turn that little motor on. A lot of times what happens, I'm assuming the brushes just go bad in this motor. But you can hold the switch up there, tap on a size motor, and a lot of times it will come on. But you do have to hold that switch. We'll give it a shot. It's pretty much down all the way, which is kind of nice. That's why I just left it. Uh, pretty sure this thing is just toast now. But I'll see if I can get it to do it. That way you guys can actually see. Got my little switch held up on the top latch. Nope, she is done. That's cool. That's why we got a new one. As far as removal, get you a pick or a small screwdriver. Just lift this little tab up. And then we can pull the plug out, just like that. We'll take out these three 11 millimeter bolts. You don't really want to take those out because then you'll have to readjust everything and make everything line back up. So here's our replacement, held them side by side. They look pretty much similar. Don't really see any differences other than just the color. Uh, when I bought it, it was a pretty good price. I was like, man, that's a way better price than what everybody else has. Didn't realize it didn't have uh, the latch mechanism itself. So we'll have to swap that over. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, the only thing I think that might be a little bit of a headache is getting this to thread down in it. Probably gonna use a power probe or some jumper wires to actuate the motor. This one here will probably take it apart. Uh, Reason I say we're gonna use a power probe on this, once you take these apart, they're a pain to put back together. Um, I've done it before, haven't had very good luck. Uh, hit or miss, I guess. You know, I've had some work, I've had some not. But we're gonna try and use a power probe on this to get it to screw down in there. And uh, it's gonna make it a lot easier. And so we got a torque tip screw right there. That's gonna hold this whole piece on. We're gonna remove it and see about getting it out of the body. All right, now that I'm messing with it again, uh, the brushes, that's what made it a pain because you have to clear that little armature right there. So I'm gonna stick this back in there so I can actually unscrew it. But yeah, you gotta hold them little brushes back. And so use a handy little pick, push it in there, pull that brush back, you got it set down. So now we're gonna just unthread it or unscrew it by hand. Uh, counterclockwise, we'll unthread this and bring it up. So we're gonna start spinning this by hand to unthread the latch. Clockwise brings it out, counterclockwise brings it back down. I just decided to chuck it up in a drill to make it that much faster. And there we have it. And now we've got to kind of what keeps all these guts in here. We need to remove these to remove this plate because that's what holds that in. And we got our bolts out, we got our plate slid up. You can kind of see in there the threads, they're uh, bigger than that hole right there. So that's what will not allow it to go out. So when you're unthreading that uh, with the drill, you know, once you get it up, once that switch comes off, kind of stop because otherwise you're going to start damaging stuff and kind of do it from hand. Also, our armature backed out, so we're going to put that back in so we can unthread the latch itself. And let's go back to spinning of the drill so it'll pull out. Just like that. All right, so you do need to make a note of which way this goes. It is directional. Reason being directional, it has this little lip right there. And I'll show you what that little lip does. On your switch, uh, basically all this does, this is like a tail switch. When the trunk closes down and pushes that, it tells the motor, stop going. What this is, is a directional switch. Uh, think of this thing like a window motor, it's 24 volts. The way they get it to go up, you got your positive and your negative. The way they get it to go down, they just reverse it. it makes the motor run backwards. That's all this does, this switch right here. It just reverses the polarity. When your trunk comes up, it hits that, somehow when your trunk comes up that little lever hits that makes it flip up when the trunk comes down it gets pushed down 
tells it to go the other direction when it needs power. So I know I said these things were a pain to take apart. Uh, it's been quite a few years since I've done one. I also did it in the car and it was a nightmare. Um, it's actually pretty easy really once you figure it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one apart since I'm gonna do it on the bench. Got my little pry bar tool here. I'm gonna use it to pull them brushes back so it can go back together easier. Uh, I think it'll be faster than digging out my power probe and messing with all that. And while I'm looking at it, uh, you may be able to stick like a small screwdriver down there, kind of hold that spline and be able to pull this cover off. This cover has magnets in it. And that's what makes everything come off when you take it all apart. But if you can hold that armature in there, it'll save you a headache of having to deal with them brushes. So what I did, I just stuck my little uh, pick down in there. I put it on the opposite side of the gears because that was the only thing that really had room. And we'll see how it works. Like a dream. Everything's all still held in there. We ain't got to mess with them brushes. Don't have to worry about scuffing the brushes up or anything. So we're going to roll with that. It's pretty much just a little bit of black paint on there. Didn't really do a whole lot of prep work or nothing. Just kind of want to not shine off a little bit. So we'll get to putting this thing back together. Settle on down in there and start threading it in. I'm going to start it by hand. That way I know it doesn't get cross threaded because that would suck. And almost pulled it out. There we go. Now I'll bring it back when we get it threaded down. All right, so we got that started. Before we pull it down too far, I'm going to go ahead and throw this cover back on. Then we throw our switch back on. Hopefully there's enough play in here. About to find out, I guess. Really, in all honesty, now I'm thinking about it, I probably should have put the cover on before putting this on because I'm sure this is going to suck it back. We will try and do our best to not let that happen. And we'll just match it up on all of its little grooves. Start putting it back together. And there we have it. We'll see if all of our hard work paid off. So as soon as I plugged it in, it was in the down position. Started going down. It was good. Hit the switch. Started going back up. That's what it's supposed to do. And I'll show you right here. I'm going to press this. It'll make it run. Now, as you see, that will continue to run while you hold the top switch on the latch. What this button here does is when it comes all the way down, it actually stops it and prevents it from going back up. You can see it doesn't stop, but once it flips that switch, it stops it. Let's see how she does. Mission accomplished. So hopefully that'll help you out. Get your trunk closed and right again. I'll put a link for that part in the description. There are some that are complete part uh, with the motor and everything. And they're just a little bit more pricey. Easy to swap it out as you've seen. So save you a few bucks. And with that being said, don't forget. You never know what you can do until you try it. But other than that, appreciate you watching. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next one.